your thoughts on the uh, council's actions tonight in uh, hiring an outside uh, legal counsel? And relieved. Really? In one word, relieved. Uh, I, I've been extremely worried for the last week that, that all of this has been happening without legal counsel. Uh, we have a giant potential liability for the taxpayers of Lubbock anytime you're dealing with personnel issues. So I am, like I say, in a word, relieved that, that this council decided to hire outside counsel tonight. How did the city manager's decision to hire counsel of her own, uh, what, what did that do to, uh, I guess, change the importance of hiring counsel? You know, I don't think it changed it at all. I think our importance, the, the, the liability was there regardless. Uh, I do know that, that it brought some other council members over to voting for hiring outside counsel and the fact that she had hired one. So, you know, I'm not, I'm kind of, I really don't care how we got there. I'm just very glad that we're at the point where we have agreed that we are going to hire an outside attorney to represent us through these, these issues. And uh, what impact would uh, putting the city manager on paid leave have had on this? Well, uh, it could have had a lot of impact on her long term if she ends up leaving the city of Lubbock. Uh, it's always designed as non-disciplinary, but viewed on a resume, a year, two, three years down the road, it's always, in my opinion, is viewed as a negative. The thing that the other thing that concerned me is, as you know, we started budget season tonight. Uh, Miss Dunball originally came to Lubbock as a CFO. Uh, she was the financial officer for the city of Lubbock. She is absolutely phenomenal with finances and budgeting, and, and I would have been very concerned going into the next several months without her at the helm. Uh, especially if we just put on paid administrative leave, because then we don't have anybody replacing her uh, with her skill set or with her background. 